Welcome back to another Modern Masters Cube Chaos Draft here on the internet. I'm your host, Frank, and I'll be here with the chat. And it uh, looks like we got a mitotic manipulation today. Look at the top seven cards of your library and put one of those into your battlefield. It has the same name as a permanent. Oh, Christ. <laughs> That's hot garbage. 2-2 two, two Infect Rats for three. If a dependent player is poisoned, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. That's a 3-3 three, three Poison Rat. Sky Hunter, white, white. Mantis. 4-4 four, four for 6, which is a 6-6 six, six if you have Metalcraft. It might just be Slagworm. That feels weird. I'll never say what my phylactery is. That's that's fine. Banishment Decree is fine. Is it just Lena and Sky Hunter? I think the Sky Hunter is a fine dude. I'm gonna take the Sky Hunter. Ooh, wind, wind, Windborn Change is some some goodness. Uh, whenever this or another ally enters the battlefield, you may have an ally get all your allies get flying. That's that's cute. Um, two target creatures you control get plus two plus two when flying. That's pretty gas. The equipment did seem above average. It seems more. It seems uh, in line with. Isn't there like a plus one, plus oh, and first strike in, in a recent set? Explorer scope could be pretty decent. Pretty decent, if you will. I think Windborn Charge is pretty broken. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Oh, I like a Burnton Bombardier. What do you guys do? At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card of your library for choose it. If it's a, it's a fairy or wizard, each opponent loses two. I don't care about that. Yeah, this card's pretty. This pack's pretty mediocre. Three through five. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card if it shares deals two damage to each creature. Okay, so basically these are the same creature, just different variations of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the the, the flyer. White flyers dot deck. That's how we do. Treasure Hunter. Oh, tap a creature? 3-3 three, three for 5 with taps to do is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're probably just taking this guy. And then in late game, we can make this a 5-5 five, five flyer. Mardu hate blade, hate blood. I like a, actually a Jeskai Elder is pretty good. Jeskai Student's not terrible, but I think Jeskai Elder is just a much better card. Are we gonna be white blue? Maybe. White blue barrage of boulders. The one you're the creature you control. F yeah, that's garbage. This is the same card except this is a one three. This is a one two, but this loots. Hmm. I think it's good enough to take over the Jeskai student. Jeskai. Equipment named Sword and Shield have indestructible. Equipped creature has indestructible. Four amp. That's not great. This pack is pretty bad. I mean, I guess this is just six mana removal for instant speed. We'll just take the murderous spoils. That seems fine. Pro black. Uh, exile and enchantment. Boring. Boring. SWAT is actually pretty good. We can put you in the sideboard and be white black. All damage that builds is dealt to its controller instead. Nope. Blightcaster. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you may have target creature gets neg two, neg two. Being in black white makes me want to take this Blightcaster. I like Wall of Swords. I think that's a great. 
Yeah, we're going to take the Blightcaster and try to build around that. That seems good. My name is Spazio, and I just say modern with a question mark. What should I eat tonight? I was going to go to Publix and get a sub, <clears throat> but by the time I'm done with this, it'll probably be like 9.15, and they close at 10, so I can't be go getting a sub in there at 9.15. So I need food suggestions. I'm not opposed to pizza. Um, it would also ideally give me lunch for tomorrow as well. Banishment decree, put an artifact, uh, creature or enchantment on top of Sonar's library. I don't think I can get nachos for dinner. Quilled slagworm is good, but we're not, we're not that. Oh, falafel sounds good, actually. I haven't had falafel in a while. I wonder where I can get falafel at that at that hour. Friend that wants to target player or planeswalker this turn. One two flyer. All right, what the hell? What type of pizza? Cheese, thin crust. Those are my options. And not my options, but those are my preferences. Oh, I like Golden Cricket. This is a 2-2 two -two for with Float. I bet I could find a Flawful place. As someone who doesn't eat a lot of meat, I find the fact that falafel, falafel is as popular as it is kind of surprising. I'm always like, wow, people love falafel, but it's not even, it's just literally chickpeas. That's amazing. Wow. Erase and demystify. Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, fancy. Taking ultimate price, I imagine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ultimate Prise. Tristani's Judgment. If Tristani's Judgment or Launch Party come back, I'll be pretty good. I'll be okay with that. Each player loses. This is a 3-3 three, three flyer for four. With that, that, that what? This is just like a... This card's great. I mean, it drains us too, but nonetheless. I'll probably have Frank play this next month. Oh god. Boros gets Oh, Josh, is this the uh is this the the Baleful Liege deck cuz that sounds sick. Cause I've got a golden ticket. This place called literally Falafel Cafe. What time is this place open till? This place is amazing. What are your hours, Falafel Cafe? Oh man, this could be legit. Why don't you have your hours on this friggin' thing? I don't understand. I'll just go to Falafel. Oh, okay. Falafel and Cafe. Tomb Raider. Oh, Sadistic Sky Marcher. Yeah, this is the card you want to you want to be having. We're not going to have any other vampires, but this is still very, very good. Even as a 2-2 two -two for 4 with Flying and Lifelink. Yeah, it's fine. I want to put it here in the hopes that we have another vampire to reveal, but let's be honest. It's not ideal. All right. Well, I have no idea what time this 
falafel place is open until unfortunately. Why don't you take the gain seven life spell? Why don't you take that? I, I wanted to save it for you. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Our deck seems great so far. We also have a ton of uncommons and removal. <laughs> we almost have an equal number of uncommons as we do uh, commons. Plague Wind. And a Disfigure. Holy schnoot. Holy schnoot. Hmm. Hmm. We're not going to have any ramp in this deck, I imagine. We already have two five drops and a six drop. I'm going to go to this figure. Maybe that plague one actually comes back. I don't know how slow this format is. I think it's only as slow as the, 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 the deck your opponent has. JM Daytome actually seems pretty good in the slow ass format. Also, Mark of the Vampire seems pretty okay. Plus two, plus two, and lifelink on one of these flyers, as well as triggering Blightcaster, could be very, very good. I'm going to take that. I don't feel like investing a million mana into JM Daytome. I had my first falafel a few weeks ago, and I was puzzled. Yeah, it's very good. It's just like, it's literally like hummus that's breaded and fried, and it's delicious. It's incredible. Oh, red hot sauce? Interesting. I was thinking tahini sauce. Tahini! Target player loses life equal to the damage already dealt to that player this turn. That's just like double strike. This is just a black double strike, right? 1-3 flying. 2-2 two, two for 2 when it enters. Yeah, this guy's great. Ah, oh, it's going to be hard to cast, though. Our mana's going to be pretty rough. God, I hate I hate white and black because it's always double black, double white, double white, double white, double black, double white, double black. The whole deck, man. I'm real tempted to take final punishment and be like, alright, I'll attack you for six. Alright, take six more. It's pretty bad most of their time. I'll just take the foul imp, I guess. Or is it this guy? Whatever. Uh, I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Uh, when a channel permanent becomes tapped, destroy it. Card goes with Blightcaster, and it does pretty much negate a creature. I don't hate this as much as I should. I'm going to take it. I don't like it, but I think it's actually not terrible. I mean, if they have a 6-6, six, six, like... Plus, like, triggering Blightcaster is not nothing. Oh, Sends Enlistment. That's pretty nice. Talaris Bane, target opponent rules her hand, she's a green or white card. Nope. Uh, Sends Enlistment could be good. Yeah, Sends Enlistment's great because it gives you a bunch of ways. To, it gives you things to do with your mana after you have spent it. This is also a four drop. Oh, God, our four drop spot is looking real bad. I'll put Bring in the sideboard for now. <coughs> this could always be a later card. This could maybe be a three drop 
I do like our rootborn defenses. It's not nothing. This dude's humongous. Humongous what? I'll take this. Also, if you have Sens and Listman out, we get a get a token for free. Hmm. Lifelink. It does trigger our Blightcaster. I'm going to take this, even though it's not great. If we open a second Blightcaster... Uh, Cleansing Ray is fine. Oh, I was hoping this White Man Lion would come back. That's a good dude. What can we bounce with that guy? Bunch of... Bounce this. Hit him again. Hits us again, but hits them again, too. <gasps> Caves of Coilo is actually the perfect card. Oh, Soul Link. No, that's not what we want. We want Death Grasp. Whenever enchanted creature deals damage, you gain that much life. Whenever creature dealt damage, you gain that much life. So, okay, so when it's deals damage or when it's dealt damage. It... Okay. Mm, negative two, negative. Oh, nope. It actually. This is actually pretty good. I think the caves might come back, but the soul link actually also might come back. I think it's actually caves. Soul link is a removal spell? Oh, because if we have Blightcaster, you mean? I'm going to take this. Oh, all right. Let's see what we got. Destroy artifacts and enchantments. Nope. 2-5 five for 5. Nope. Whenever a creature attacks, it deals... Oh, that's everybody. All right. Cop Green and Cop Red are both pretty good. I kind of want this Cop Green. That seems... What if Cop Red comes back? I think green is scarier because they have bigger creatures. Yeah, I'm going to take the Cop Green. I like that a lot. That's sick. Ooh, Agent of Masks. I do like an Agent of Masks. Yeah, I'm going to take Agent here. Secret. Agent of Masks, she's giving you a number and she's going about your day. That's not how that song works at all. Survival Cash is pretty sweet. Blood Red Invoker is also pretty good in the late game. And it's a vampire for our Sadistic Sky Marcher. Actually, that's pretty sweet. That's probably what we're taking here. Yeah, that guy's great. That is just a, this is a perfect card for us right now. He's giving you a number. Odds are you won't live to see tomorrow. Turn a card from opponent's graveyard to their hand for all damage that we dealt to any target this turn by a choice of your choice. Choice of your choice? By a source of your choice. <clears throat> um, I think we have enough art enchantment removal. So it's either bodyguard or shield mage advocate. I don't really love returning cards ever. But if it's like some kind of crappy card, like a land or something, I don't really care. Blend of a bodyguard is just pretty decent protection though. I'll take bodyguard. He's giving you his body, and he wants you to to guard it. This is a little secret agent man I'm doing here. I don't know if you guys... 
Whenever this attacks you, you tap target creature. That's pretty good. Whenever this, yeah, this is just a two that kills an enchantment again. Yeah, I think Season, season Marshal is pretty good. It's also an uncommon. That's how you can tell it's really good. Herald of the Fair. Mm, Herald of the Fair. Plus one, plus two is actually pretty sizable. That's a that's a nice buff. Rush of Vitality. Plus one, plus oh, lifelink and indestructible. <sighs> Spicy. I don't know what to do. Are we playing all these cards so far? Probably. Probs. I guess Rootborn Defense isn't great. Rush of Vitality is probably going to be just better in most situations. Oh, wow. Meadow, Meadowborn. Put a counter on each creature when it leaves the battlefield. That's pretty good. Dragdown's probably mediocre because we only have two land types. Oh, I wish Logic Knot was... Uh, I would take that Logic Knot for the, for the foil value. Uh, I think it's actually just Meadow Boon. Putting a counter on all our guys when we have Sends Enlistment is pretty huge. Why do I have the song stuck in my head? Secret Agent. Oh, Agent of Masks. That's why. Last draft, we ended up going Dos Un. Dos Un. I think this Noble Vestige is pretty bad. One damage target Planeswalker or player. I guess preventing one each turn. Now nah, it's pretty mediocre. Dang, the Soul Link did not come back. Making a dude to flag bear is actually not terrible. Let's be real. Oh my god, the cop red came back. We have cop red and cop green. Oh, we're calling the police on these red green decks. Oh. Core Hookmaster, that's a good deal. Wow, that card's great. Great! We could take out Blightcaster Mark. Could take out Coalition Flag, too. Yeah, Coalition Flag's pretty bad. I like Repel the, Repel the Darkness. Need one more cut. We have 15 Creechies. It might be Foul Imp just because of the poor casting cost. I really want to go Double White Sky Hunter into Foul Imp. This is also whenever it leaves the battlefield, you put a counter on it. So I could actually white main lion the... Eh, Spermanage Advocate, not terrible. I could white main lion the Meadow Boon. Put counters on all my things. Ooh, another enchantment for our Blight Casty. Banishment of Decree might be too expensive. Especially because we have a lot of removal already. We have Ultimate Price, Disfigure, Murderous Spoils... SWAT. Yeah, we can take out the Banishment Decree. Uh, good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good. The good, good. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. And we got a Caves of Coilos. 8-8. Eight, eight. Beautiful. Let's run it. Repel the Obama Darkness. That sounds... That sounds like something else. It sounds like we're repelling the Obama. You know what? Yeah, this is rough. I'm going to keep it, though. It's got all the colors we want, so... All the colors being two of them. Besides, guys, really, what seriously, what could go wrong? We're good at this game. And then we want to play a Swamp on turn two, because if we draw Foul Imp or Leon and Sky Hunter, we want to be able to play both on turn three. Either, I should say. Either on turn three, not both. I wish we could play this guy next turn. Can we draw the Vampire? Come on, one time, Vampire. Dang it, Vampire. Land drops always go your way? What does that even mean? Disagree. <laughs> 
four four flying. Woof. Oh, I was like, oh my god, have you watched these videos before? Unbelievable. Don't you even think of blocking, buddy. Yeah, he didn't use a kappa there, so I wasn't sure. I'll take four, I'll go to 16. And then you'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. I just watched you draw like eight lands in a row. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Ah, I see. Well, we gained two life at least. Someone just messaged me on Facebook Marketplace because I'm like selling, I'm trying to sell some speakers. And they're like, would you take 40 for this? And they're like, I'm like, they're like cash in hand. And I'm like, I mean, I really hope anyone on Facebook Marketplace has cash in hand because I really, how else are you buying things? Odds are you won't live to see tomorrow. <laughs> also, it's like 40 bucks, so like cash in hand. I'm like, dude, it's 40 bucks. It's not like $600. I mean, if you have two, having two 20s, not really, it's not really blowing my mind here. Destroy an island or a swamp. How nice. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Boom, 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 Marsh drinker. Stop drinking from the marsh, you friggin' savage. Have you seen Across the Universe? I have seen Across the Universe. Once I'm flying out like endless rain into a paper cup. What do you get back? Hunt the week? That's pretty good. Man, you're good at this game. Oh, look who I drew again. So what do you do? What is what is your what is your blocks here? Block here. You're definitely blocking here and blocking here. And then you take three. I mean, Agent of Masks is dead next turn anyway. Um. I mean, if you block here and here, you have to block here and here, right? And so then we're just actually fine. Then we get to keep three guys on board. And you have one guy. Oh. Oh, this is fascinating. I did not see that coming. 
I guess I should have played this guy first no matter what, right? I mean, I guess I wanted to keep this up in case we needed uh, Death Touch. I wanted to keep the Swamp up instead of having to use the cave, but that's not going to change anything. We're going to play. We're not going to not play this guy in any in any realistic situation. So either way, they're at one and they're dead. And I don't know why I'm still going on about it, but Pro Green seems pretty good. Let's bring in a cop. Let's call the police. Alright, what are we doing here? Cleansing ray, new. Cop red, new. Unfortunately, it's to you. I wish it was deal damage, because then we can be like, oh, I'll just counter your hunt the weak. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Risk it for the biscuit. Planes? Oh, we did it. All right, we'll run this out first. That'd be pretty funny if this is the PT cube. I can't see uh, Core Hookmaster or Rush of Vitality making a, a huge PT impact, but stranger things have likely happened, I would imagine. Words are flowing out like endless rain. That's fascinating. Do we just run that out there? I think we can wait a turn, I guess. Nothing's gonna change. Ugh, every time, man. It's getting real old, buddy. It's getting real old. I don't even have another vampire in hand. Stupid. If you want to trade and give me two three threes, one of which has... Flying and lifelink. When did I become a back? Oh, I got... Wow. That's amazing. Choose myself. Air Elemental? I don't think we've drawn one removal spell in this entire... That's super friggin' obnoxious. Well, now we're definitely bringing in some sort of enchantment removal that we have much of. Yep. Yipper. You have three cards in hand. You're not really playing anything that aggressive. Oh, seven, eight, eight. Oh, just a horn call. Actually, that's not bad. That's a thing we can... I can take that to the house. Take it to the house. Oh, yeah. Eat one and then... Yep, that's fine. That's a lot of life. They do have a 3-3 and a 4-4, though. It's not nothing. Kitty cat sleeps in the dead of night. Take these broken wings.
Take seven. I'll go down to 20. It's obnoxious. Yep, that's cool. and another planes fantastic nine to six that is our ratio of lands to spells really sure dude I'm actually gonna scoop here we can't like we're gonna have to draw like runner 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 and foul imp is not the foul imp land disfigure is not the runners we're looking for all right, so you're going to steal my enchantment like a scumbag. Yeah, erase is probably just better than demystify. I'd rather exile it than destroy it. Man, Rush of Vitality has been OP. We'll take out the Marty Hate Blade. That guy's pretty mediocre. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. This hand's not great, but I think our deck's good. So. Here comes Foul Imp off the top. Core Hookmaster. Core no target hook master. Seems good. Okay. Well, 37. Seems good. I bought golden Oreos in your honor at 4 a.m. Nice. Um... Sure. That's some real value right there. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. I feel like we're actually, our tempo is actually pretty solid here, especially with a windborne charge, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten? We have ten damage on board with the windborne charge? actually pretty good. That was a good draw. I don't think we need it now. I think I only block one dude. So I assume they're going to play their their big fat daddy spider. Flash spider. Yep. That is just perfect. Get you, uh huh. Now, windborne in charge, you're gonna crush him. Crush him. Crush him. 
this figure was likely the perfect draw there. I mean, maybe there's a better draw, but I can't think of it off the top of my head, so. Huh. Yeah, if you tap out for something stupid. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, but you're still dead. Get you! Uh-huh. First pick wins us the game. Second pick. Third pick? It was a good pick. Solid picks. Get you, uh huh. 384. God, we're so hundred, we're so close to 400 subs. That's unbelievable. I am in disbelief, my friends. I don't love this hand, but I don't hate it. So that's where I'm at right now in my life. I like it better now. Man, Fallon deals us three. Oof. I used to get bored with my smooth. No, I can't complain that the agency was bored me like Police Hawk. Dang, always with the police hawks. What is this dude? Latch seeker can't be blocked. Whatever, man. I don't care about your stupid latches. You can take it your take your latches and get the hell out of here. That's what I say. That's what I say. Discard a card, create a 1 1 fairy named Cloud Sprite. Okay. Man, disfigure OP here. Golden Cricket. Golden Cricket. Talking about Golden Cricket. Oh, this is fascinating. Do we get to kill this? Boom! Two for baby. We don't get to play our agent of masks, but I think that's a small price to pay. And next time we can give float and agent of masks. Oh, gain three life too. That was great. Oof! 
Oh man, I totally should have just had Publix deliver me a sub. That would have been gas. I could have been like, hey Publix, just deliver me a sub. I didn't even think about it. Man, utilizing modern technologies is uh would make my life a whole lot easier. Interesting, no plays, huh? Well, we're just gonna attack here and see what you got. See if you gotta settle the wreckage. I'm not going to give float because I don't have a reason to. No, nothing? No, nothing? Don't counter this. I'm asking you nicely. Just be nice. Really? Eh. I asked you so nicely. I wanted my agent of masks. I mean, this is still eight damage. Like, it's pretty brutal. <clears throat> All right, still not going to go down on the ground. Go into float. Maybe I will give float. You know what? I'll give float in case you got a ground blocker. In case you want to flash in some creepy dude. Kitty cat floating on down. Wow. I'm that guy now. Oh my god. Who plays around? Who's going to play around offering to Ash? We had Mana Lake Mana. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, anyway, we misplayed two different ways. We could have not given this flight and we could have played this first. Oh my god. Should have played around the offering of Asha. Whenever this attacks, tap a creature. Sure. So I got four, you got three on board. We promised to cook it very well done. Do you? Oh, that was a good draw. This is pretty upsetting, though, because uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they're going to be at. Oh, man. This is so bad, dude. I can't believe we're going to lose this game. Because of the stupid sky hunter. I guess we could tap this guy down. I guess actually that's fine. Zaxar, we're currently 1 0. <sighs> That's a draw. God, we can deal you nine. That's unbelievably. Arg. Yargle. Um, I think... Oh, this guy's got unearthed, though. We'll kill this, tap this guy down. We can't attack, then.
Just win? Wow, that seems really easy. <laughs> Man, if only I'd considered that. I guess we got one turn, actually. We tap the bird down, kill this guy. The problem is we can't deal two now. Yargle. McBargle. Yeah, we're just going to have to pass here. Gonna kill that guy before it's relevant. Hmm, boy. Get down. Get, and we have Rush of Vitality in the graveyard, which is one of the few ways to pump our guys. One, two, three, four. We also have seven mana, so if we draw, like, Meadow Boon, we can't actually activate it. We can't actually uh, evoke it and then still attack. And still Windborn Charge. We have a lot of powerful draws here. Howling Banshee is not one of them. You just annexed one of my lands. It's okay, I got another one. Alright, so this is where we get two in. And then we should be golden, so to speak. Golden. No float. Again, we'll tap the guy, we'll take one, and then if they don't have a flyer or a removal spell, we are good to go. Ch chocolate raid! Annex in your main, that's interesting. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Man, this getting countered was the 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 game changing play. Tap down this guy just for funsies. All right, going to one. See what you drew. You didn't draw anything, huh? Okay. <sighs> Let's see what you got. Let's see what your sweet top deck was. Lucky, 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 lucky. Cool. We gave them one turn. <laughs> it's like they literally had one turn to draw that. Oh, Jesus.
I'm gonna bring in a race because we've seen multiple enchantments, so. Yep, that was pretty dumb. I mean, we made our own misplay, but like, again, they literally had to draw perfect. They had to draw logic knot. If he had done anything differently, he would have died, so what do you want? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what you're saying right now. Oh, so, okay, I was like, yeah, I don't know, yeah, the, I was like, I don't, I don't think I gave them too much time. Yeah, this is fine to keep on top. Yeah, I mean, the Annex was just the Annex because they have no other use for it. Like, they're just not going to not play it. You're not just going to hold an Annex. Like, you just play it. You get an extra land, you deny me a land. If I draw a 7-drop or an 8-drop, I can't get to play it. So. I could see running out the... Uh, I could see running out the... Oh, man. Actually, fudge. I bet if we ran out the Blood Knight first, we might have won that game. They might have countered that because it might have given us enough time to actually... It gives us two blockers. Wow, I wonder if we actually had a better chance if we just ran that guy out first. The Blood blood Right Revoker or whatever. That's super weird. That's a That's an interesting... That's an interesting scenario. Because it says we can block... We can block their... We can tap their guy down and block... We have two blockers, so we tap down their flyer and we have two blockers for their ground guy. Wow, this is brutal. Two cards we have not seen. Alright, well... Fourth land would have been cool here, but... Either draw enough lands or or either draw too many lands or not enough lands. You never really. It's no real sweet middle ground, unfortunately. So now we get to go to twelve already on turn four. I'm pretty sure we just lost this this round already. Three three and in on the board of their two twos would have been great, but now we either might just have to trade here. Look how grumpy this guy is. Yeah, I'm not going to go to 14 here. 2-2 two, two Flyers. This guy's not going to be the one that wins us the game, so. Police Hawk. Why? Wow. Talk about having it all. Oh, five drop. Fantastic. And we can't actually play this and this. <laughs> Just fantastic. I'm having a good time. I guess I'll play Season Marshal and just sacrifice it to the Sunspear Shikari. I mean, on turn two, we could have actually played Ultimate Price on this. 
I really didn't think this was going to be... God, I hate losing an entire match based on one stupid misplay. Because if we won last game based on the 2-2 flyer, which we would have. Like, it wouldn't have even been close based on the way everything drew out. Um... Like, all of a sudden we get to play a game, another game after this. And then it's just like, well, okay, now we just have to dodge the shuffler one time instead of two times. Two, two times instead of just once. Cool. So, two, three, can't kill it. All right, well. And this guy has the old... All right, so we can. Get rid of you. I feel like we shouldn't have let them untap knowing that they have logic not. A little tilted after that game one though, unfortunately. Yeah, there's, oh, all right, wow. Still not sure how we come back from this, though, especially if they play another flyer, which they're definitely going to. Yeah, so even if we, like, block here, we still take four and gain two. Yep, this game's over. All right, well... They literally, like, we just had to not misplay, and they had to not draw literal logic not that turn. That's super infuriating. This game might be over. This, this, this draft might be over quicker than I expected. I've actually been having a good time with the Chaos Cube, though. Or the Chaos Drafts. Like, they feel like... Kind of like... Popper Cubes? Here we go. Here we go. I think Sen's enlistment's a little ambitious because we actually never draw enough lands to uh, to cast our spells, let alone to retrace them. I'm going to ultimate price this guy because I have no idea how much damage that guy's going to deal before. All right. Well, this is a this is a nice floating arena. Momer on arena in three weeks. That seems insane. What? Yeah, no blocks. I see. Wow. Here he goes again. I literally just fed him before this, too. Wow, he is so loud.
Hmm. So it doesn't look like you're kicking, you're actually just using this as a fireball, right? We're gonna double block here. Just start getting rid of your guys. If we draw a land, it's a swamp, we can play the Howling Banshee, which is pretty strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, if we kept one of those guys alive and they didn't have an answer, we could just win more and charge for the win. But I think we're still pretty okay doing that. Yeah, I think we're still just fine here. I love how overcomplicated. Yeah, you're like, kicker, two and a red and or three and a blue. Okay, you may pay this. If, if it deals X damage to target creature, if its spell was kicked with its red, it deals X damage to that creature's controller. If it's kicked with its blue, you draw X cards. Okay, well, that's a lot of things going on. Hmm. Okay. This is an easy, easy choice here. Can they kill us from seven? I'm not... I, I don't know. They could literally have any card in Magic's history. Actually, do we just play Howling Banshee? I think that's probably better. Each player loses three life. Yes. All right. Let's do that. I'd rather them know about a Howling Banshee than a Windborn charge. Charge. A Windborn a charge. Got him! Alright, so we didn't actually see anything that we real. Oh! Circle of Protection Red. Good lord, OP. OP. My god, Cop Red. Tackle Maggot! <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a thing. Uh, I will keep this hand. I like being able to return the Bombardier to my hand in order to uh, reinforce. Oh, you got a little fear boy here. Hmm. Well, this is not ideal. Uh, no blocks. Yeah, that's that's pretty rough. Ooh, a blight caster. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my blight caster. Do 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 do. Gonna tap your things down. This curve is good if we can just like avoid any kind of removal spells that uh, adversely affect me. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go, you see. Oh, I see. Neg three, neg one. That's cool. You really wrung my flesh. You can ring my flesh. Ring my flesh. That's weird. That's a weird thing to do. Let's pretend we're on, we're not on the beat down here. Let's pretend that for a second. Did 
This art's really weird. Well then, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we have to block here, but yeah, that's actually fine. I like this better now because now we can kill this guy. I wish I gained control of all the auras that were attached to it. That's where I want to be. All right, so go to six. Hey, that's pretty good. Hmm, we figured it out. Well, we're going to white main lion, bounce this guy, we're going to disfigure this guy and block, so. Man, this disfigure has been so timely every single time. Timely every time. Also, it is non-black, so that is correct. Not as much of an option as we'd like. Yep. You gotta pump it all the way if you want, which is nice because it means you can't replay it. Yep. Yep. This feels better than just letting our guy die and trading. And now we get to keep a 4-4 on board with a removal spell in hand and just cross our fingers that they don't have another black creature. Man, this white main lion. Doing the deed. So we know one card is Mantle. I believe that's what it's... Yeah, it's Fire Mantle, right? I mean, if they have the, uh, the, the card they played last game, I forgot what it was called, with Kicker, they can deal three to him and three to me, or they can just not kick it and just kill the Lion. Which I feel like is what they're going to do. Oh. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, please. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I'm not going to let this guy survive, unfortunately. Like, I'd, I'd love for them to put the Fire Mantle on in response, but I don't want to not play something if I draw it next turn. And we could have played that anyway, so... Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, boy. And literally dead to this plus fire mantle. Fantastic. Yep, can't beat Mythic Demon.
Maybe we want Brink? I don't know. Doesn't seem great. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Come on, buddy. Ride this Burnton Bombardier to, to the to the finish line. We are not riding him to the finish line. Ride this Sky Marcher to the finish line. Which is arguably better than the Burnton Bombardier. Oh, I like being able to keep up white main line here. That's pretty nice. All right, if you didn't kill this, it's pretty good. We can also play Boone. 3-3 three, three Boone's pretty good here. Especially if we can send enlistment. Oh yeah, that's nice. I feel like we're in good shape here. Famous last words, I assume. Don't kill my Sky Marcher. All right, Priest of Urbrask. Play it for free. I like that Priest of Urbrask so much, I played it for free. Followed by a Hothead Giant. 4 4 Haste enters the battlefield with two negative one counters unless you've cast another. That's a nice little combination. That's a nice combination card. <laughs> Who talks like that? I feel like we're going to get to a point where it's almost dangerous for them to kill this Meadow Boon. Look at this weird Lorwyn art. Oh, that's, that's Bording Tide, Frank. Whatever. That's actually even Tide. Okay, well, as long as you don't have a way to sacrifice that, I'm, I'm okay with what's happening. I'm going to block here. I don't want to take a million. Oh, God, don't sacrifice it. There's no way. you got two cards in hand. There's no way you have a way to get rid of it. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Come on. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It's a 3-3. Three, three. There's no way. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be utterly insane. Sorry, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. <sighs> it's actually incredible. I feel like we're in good shape, he says. Jesus. Maybe we're not terrible? I don't know. Act of Treason Fling. When I have a 3 3 that gives all your creatures plus one, plus one, and you get to kill two of my things. Just 
literally had exactly these in hand. From both, both from M12, no less. You picked up one, and then you either had another M12 pack, which doesn't seem likely, or it tabled, which also doesn't seem incredibly likely. It's astronomically, just a... Windborn Charge would have been the next card. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons for my own personal benefit because that was a miserable experience. And uh, thanks for the support. Really appreciate it. You guys can check out my Patreon page or my Twitch profile. Links are in the description below. I'll see you next time.